Hey, uh, my name is Elijah Burrell. I'm 24 years old and I'm from Santa Monica, California. And I'm here to tell you a story. <laughs> I was on a trip maybe about five or six years ago with the girl and chocolate family. And um, this whole trip was actually totally fucking psycho. I don't know. So we're in Nicaragua and we're staying at Chico Brennis' parents' house. We're hanging out at his house one night. I was like, hey, I'm gonna go to the store, which was two blocks down the street. Chico was like, oh, I'll go with you guys just to make sure like everything's all good, you know? And I was like, all right. Like, so we go to the store. I, like, get two 12-packs of Tonya. And I'm, like, walking out of the store, and all of a sudden there's, like, this big group of guys, like, sitting out in front of the store. And I was like, oh, shit. And, like, I'm walking away, I'm walking away, and they, like, you can hear them behind you, like, behind me, like, kind of starting to follow us and, like, say stuff in Spanish. And then I just hear Chico go, run. <laughs> and I fucking started booking it, dude. No second guessing, no hesitation, just 12 packs in hand, sprinting down this dirt road as fast as I can. All of a sudden, glass bottle, huge boulder. Like, seriously, war zone. Like, don't know how they had this many glass bottles and rocks on them, but they're just like flying overhead, like incoming, like, oh. And I get back to Chico's house, and he has this big metal door, and I'm slowly starting to find out that I'm coming in way too hot to stop for this metal door. <laughs> Slammed into the metal door, like face first. And then, so we make it in the door and then we close the door right before the guys like were behind us and they came running up. They're, they're like talking shit through like the little mail slot. And then all of a sudden you just see Chico's uncle, who's like a bigger guy, like respected guy in Nicaragua. He comes out, opens his bedroom door, shotgun, tidy whities walks out, walks right past us, like nothing's happening just opens the big metal door, kicks it open, and he just fires three shots in the air. And the kids scram, and then he just like walks back into his room and like closes the door and goes to bed. No word said. <laughs> that night, I went out into the street and I found one of the shotgun shells, and I wrote down on a little piece of paper what happened, and I put it like inside the shotgun shell, and I still got it, and I haven't taken it out yet. Uh, so if you like that story and you want to hear some more, uh, click on Classic Tales to watch them all. <laughs>